One week after Santa came to town, we have a new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Raid boss coming to town this week in 7 Star Raids. Cinderace makes its debut in 7 Star Raids this Friday, December 30th, 2022 at midnight UTC, which translates to 7 p.m. Eastern Time the night before. The good news is, two weeks later, Cinderace will be coming back in 7 Star Raids, so if you can't do it this weekend because of the new year, you also have another chance two weeks later, just like Charizard. Just like Charizard, Cinderace is going to have the Mightiest Mark, and its ability and moveset are going to be the same no matter when you catch it. Now, I've heard all over Twitter and YouTube people trying to tell you what the best Pokemon is going to be for Cinderace, and to be honest, nobody really knows. If we take a look at what Charizard had for its moveset, and we kind of apply that to what we can expect to see from Cinderace, Charizard really didn't have any moves that were that unpredictable, and I feel like Cinderace is going to be more or less the same. It might have a lot of basic moves, but if it has a move like High Jump Kick, Iron Head, Gunk Shot, Sucker Punch, Court Change, it could definitely render a lot of Pokemon that we think could be good, not even usable. So today, guys, I'm going to put on my real estate agent cap and have a little open house tour. I'll show you guys the Pokemon that I have ready for the Charizard 7 Star Raids, and maybe we can create a cool dialogue in the comment section where you can let me know if a Pokemon that I have, maybe you think it's not going to be usable or there's a better alternative, and um, maybe you can comment and I can give you feedback on your Pokemon you plan on using, just so all of us have a good chance to catch this thing and beat this thing. I really want to preface this part of the video by saying that you should really EV train and IV train all your Pokemon and have them be level 100 before you even think to do a seven star raid the first pokemon that i think has a really good chance against cinderace is armor rouge armor rouge also happens to be one of my favorite new pokemon in this gen but it makes sense why it'd be good against cinderace it's got the psychic terra type versus um cinderace's fighting terra type psychic's obviously super effective against fighting types and then for the held item i gave it the twisted spoon to help boost its psychic type moves it'll make more sense in a second now here comes the good stuff. The moveset that I've decided on for Armor Rouge is Psychic Terrain, Calm Mind, Expanding Force, and Reflect. I've seen a lot of people recommend different builds for Armor Rouge, but I think this build is the best. You have the terrain to prevent the Sucker Punch priority on the off chance Cinderace has it. Expanding Force takes advantage of Psychic Terrain. You get a boost in damage. Calm Mind to boost our special attack even further, and then Reflect to try to negate some of the damage that Cinderace is going to deal to us. On top of the... Um, Twisted Spoon we're going to be holding, and then Flash Fire is going to be our ability, um, just in case we get hit by a fire move from Cinderace. And then also, obviously, I've EV trained and IV trained my Armor Rouge in Special Attack, HP, and Defense. On the off chance that Cinderace knows a Steel move or a Poison type move, these next two Pokemon might not be the most advantageous for you. So basically, the Azumarill that worked really well for the Charizard raids, in theory, could work pretty well for the Cinderace raids, except the fact that the bug with Playrough still has not been fixed. But with Azu, we're still running Shell Bell, and we still have the Fairy Terra type. So the moveset is still Playrough, Aqua Jet, Liquidation, and obviously Belly Drum, the most important thing. And then huge power for the ability, and then we're trying to max out our HP with a good attack stat with some pretty good defenses too. The next Pokemon that I have ready to go is going to be Sylveon. If Cinderace does not have a Steel type or Poison type move, I think arguably Sylveon's the best Pokemon to bring in for these raids. So for Sylveon, obviously level 100, we're running the Fairy Terra type and the held item is going to be Citrus Berry. For the moveset, we're running Reflect, Draining Kiss, Hyper Beam, and Calm Mind. Hyper Beam makes sense because we're running Pixelate for the ability, so our Hyper Beams are going to be hitting with Fairy type Stab. And then we have a special attack nature, special attack EV, IV build with HP, and obviously special defense is high in Sylveon. The next Pokemon's a little bit ironic because it was the last seven star Pokemon we had, uh, Charizard. However, I did change the terror typing to flying. Now you may have noticed that we didn't actually give Charizard a held item. That was on purpose because acrobatics actually does a lot more damage if you do not have a held item. So we have Sword Stance. Acrobatics, Will-O-Wisp, and Smokescreen for the moveset for Charizard. And we have a special attack and HP-esque EV IV build. And then the ability is going to be Blaze, uh, powers up fire type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Now, last but certainly not least, we have our Fairy Terra type Grimmsnarl. Now, I've heard a lot of people running different things on Grimmsnarl for raid battles, but for Cinderace, I think the Covert Cloak makes the most sense to me. Now, the moveset for Grimmsnarl is a little bit tricky. You could run more of an offensive build, more of a support build, I've decided to run Fake Tears, Chilling Water, Reflect, and Taunt. Fake Tears is always nice. You can lower Cinderace's special defense. Chilling Water will lower the attack while also doing damage. Reflect obviously boosts your um, ability to take damage. And then Taunt is always helpful. Um, I've decided to build more of a special attack slash HP slash defense build for Grimmsnarl. 
Cinderace coming at you in seven star raid dens this Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. I will be live streaming this on the channel. And if you want to come do some raids with me, we'll try to get some viewer games going, get as many people, as many Cinderaces as possible. And I will be doing a Masuda hunt when I get mine for a shiny one as well. And like I said, guys, let's try to get some helpful and respectful dialogue down in the comments. I'm open to any criticism as long as it's respectful towards the builds that I've created today. And if you guys were awesome enough to drop a like on this, thank you so much. Let me know also down in the comments what future posts. Pokemon you want to see from these seven star raid dens because I want to see Decidueye, all the Hisuian Pokemon, Hisuian Lilligan. I think they'd be awesome. As always, I love and appreciate you. Stay happy, healthy, hydrated, mad love, respect, and appreciation, Beacon fam. I will be live tonight, most likely, and we'll catch you guys back here real soon.